anyone to become a wanderer. Dann schauen wir uns diesmal den Rest an. Wir haben, haben, wir haben hier noch eins offen. Machen wir erstmal das. Hey Traveler! Hey Detective Hazo! You're back already, huh? <laughs> I bet you're tired. Well, I just bought some tonkatsu. Care to join me? There's plenty for everyone. We'd love to! Uh, but wouldn't you like to hear the results of our investigation first? No matter what you were able to find, it's all in the past and won't ever change. So I think we'd better chow down first. Besides, if Sango's not happy with the results, we might not have any... Come on, Ryuji, pipe down. Let's hear well, the travel... Uh, 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 don't worry, just to... Sango gab heiß und verältlicherweise die Schuld. Der wahre Mörder war tatsächlich Shiroyama. Well, what do you know? I suspected that was the case. Please rest in peace, Master Takatsukasa. No, impossible! Traveler, are you sure you checked every last file carefully? Bitte <laughs> Rami, ich habe es getan. Ugh! No, you little... Uh, Shikanoing Hazo! You didn't pull any shenanigans on the Traveler, did you? Songo, no accusations without evidence, remember? The truth is out and the case is closed, Songo. Please don't send any more of your harassment letters to the Tenryo Commission. Well, I really owe it to you, Traveler. I'll be sure to properly thank you later. Until then, see ya. Hey, you're not going anywhere! Es gibt ein Geheimnis. Nur wir kennen es. Uh, also mit ihr würde ich mich auch nicht anlegen wollen. Das könnte sonst ganz böse enden. So. Da haben wir die beiden Enden schon geschafft. Jetzt. Ja, mal schauen. Es ist hat die Frage, ähm, was uns erwartet. Aber ich habe da noch so einen Verdacht. Ich soll doch nur zumindest nicht zurückgehen. Something vital is missing on this island. Isn't that bizarre? Something vital has gone missing on this island. Has something evaporated into thin air? Hmm. What could it be? Paimon bets it must be something delicious. You know, because the soil of Watatsumi Island can't grow crops. There's a... Oh. Hm, es fehlt Paimon. <lacht> Perhaps Watatsumi Island doesn't value your little partner as much as you do. Hm. Well, as long as the traveler still appreciates Paimon, then that's fine. <lacht> Interestingly, I didn't have the same dream again after I left this place. So I became even more intrigued. Was this really just some random dream? Some people believe that dreams represent the divine's helping hand. Which, I suppose, is understandable. However, if you ask me, dreams have nothing to do with the gods. Instead, they are flashes of intuition. 
It was my intuition telling me that there was something important about this island that... Poof! Suddenly vanished. So I decided to accept this little commission from my intuition and investigate to see if I could come up with any compelling findings. Unfortunately, the investigation has had little progress up to this point. Hat das so etwas mit diesen Boschi zu tun? I felt there was something peculiar about them, so I pretended to get captured to see if there were any leads that would surface. And that's when you showed up. Tut mir leid, dass ich den Plan unterbrochen habe. Nah, don't worry about it. These guys were just a bunch of small fries. Besides, your arrival is much more important to me. So how would you like to partner up on this one? We can work together to solve the mystery. Ich habe noch eine Mission und muss ich zuerst zurückbringen. Yes, of course, I understand. But let me ask one more question. Nein. Well, then it's probably nothing major. Most likely there So since we're already here, once everything is settled... Das halt schon. Gut, der Tram hat auch mein Interesse geweckt. Ich werde dich bei der Untersuchung, bei der Untersuchung helfen. <lacht> It's a deal then, Partner. So, let's get started, shall we? First, we can search the camp for clues. So, have you found anything? Viel Kristallmark und viele Sangoperlen. Yes, I found pretty much the same. And there really are a lot. Aren't these all super expensive? Oh, these must be the valuable things that went missing from the island. That's it. The Nabushi must have stolen them all. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. The Nabushi would be very hard pressed to find many opportunities to get their hands on commodities like these. Did the Nabushi gather all this themselves? No, that's unlikely. Crystal marrow is a rare material for crafting weapons, and Sango pearls are an even more precious commodity. Here's what I think. Due to Watatsumi's poor soil, the island's economy is quite fragile and heavily reliant on the trade of these special resources. So, it's absolutely vital that they keep them under lock and key and well out of the Nobushi's reach. Which means they got lucky with a huge batch like this. My guess is they ambushed a caravan. <laughs> if we go ask around the Sanganamiya Shrine, we can find out if there have been any recent instances of caravans being plundered. Ich habe gute Kontakte zum Sanganamiya Shrine. Komm mit mir. Perfect. I knew you'd be a huge help. <laughs> well, duh. The traveler is Paimon's companion after all. Na dann schauen wir mal, was sie so herausfinden über den Überfall. Captain, I see you found the detective. <lacht> Watatsumi Island sure is a beautiful place. I don't think I could ever leave. <laughs> you can stay as long as you like, granted you don't cause any trouble, that is. Her Excellency has stated that all friendly visitors are welcome. Ich möchte fragen, ob Händler oder Caravan in der letzten Zeit Warndiebstahl gemeldet haben. Incidents of stolen goods? Not that I'm aware of. Her Excellency has recently launched several measures to boost the economy, including the development of trade routes and establishing our own caravans. Troops have also been deployed to protect them, so it is only reasonable to assume that the current trade routes are already very safe. Any looting or theft would be practically unthinkable. That's strange. Then where did the Nobushi get those goods from? 
Huh? You mean you found goods of unknown origin? Yep, and it's all Sango pearls and crystal marrow, so we know it's local. Could there have really been a theft that hasn't been reported? That shouldn't be the case. <sighs> well, perhaps you could go ask Todoroki. He's responsible for the caravans and is usually in the village at night preparing the goods. If something has happened, he should know about it. Great. Thank you for all the info. Let's go. Hey, traveler! It's been a while. I've missed you. Uh, why didn't you inform me that you'd be coming over today? Ah, uh, General Goro. You're dismissed, Shibata. You may go about your other duties while I catch up with the traveler. Yes, General Goro. I overheard you discussing a case of stolen goods. Is that right? That's right! We found a lot of Watatsumi's valuable products in an Ibushi camp! I see. So you've come to ask if we know of any relevant cases. Well... I'm ashamed to say that... Yes, the caravans have been plundered. And not just once, I'm afraid. We had already dispatched additional forces to protect the caravans, yet the crooks still managed to get away with the goods. And you're concerned that if this kind of news were to get out, it would undermine the confidence of other caravans. So you didn't make it public, and instead kept the news to only a select few. Ah, that's correct. I never expected you to be so concerned about Watatsumi's affairs, Detective Heizo. <laughs> Just a force of habit, really. As a detective, I notice these kinds of things. Oh, so you two already know each other? Actually, I've only heard of Detective Hazo from the soldiers' reports. We've never met in person. Ah, darn it. You're right. Now that you mention it, I've been on Watatsumi Island all this time and still haven't properly introduced myself. Man alive, please forgive me. It's a pleasure to meet you, General Goro. I'm Shikanoin Hazo of the Tenryo Commission. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you, too. I'd like to express my gratitude to you for stepping in and helping recover those goods. Ah, don't mention it. You never know what you'll find when you're out for a stroll. But, if the source of the problem is not addressed, I'm afraid this sort of situation will continue cropping up for you. Yes, of course. Not only have we reassured the affected caravans, but we also dispatched personnel to investigate the culprits. The reports indicated that the stolen goods were being delivered to a merchant of the International Trade Association named Godot. It all seems pretty unusual. We suspect that there are bigger players behind Godot, and that their target is none other than Watatsumi Island's valuable resources. But unfortunately, it would be difficult for us to investigate further, given that... Given that, Rito, the island where the International Trade Association is located is not part of your territory, yes. They have cleverly picked their base of operations. I can see you catch on quickly, Detective Hazo. <laughs> it's my guess that you're telling us this because you're going to ask us to assist you in finding who's behind all this, right? <laughs> you're always thinking one step ahead. Yes, those were exactly my intentions. And of course, we will prepare a generous reward for you. The recent end of the war, trade and commerce have now become an important component of Watatsumi Island's development. Ensuring safety of the trade routes is critical, and we can't afford any further incidents. So, will you please help Watatsumi Island, Detective Hazo? I'm willing to assist, but it all depends on what he wishes. Als Truppenanführer von Schwertfisch 2 ist es meine Pflicht, Watatsumi zu helfen. Great! With both Detective Hazo and the Traveler on the case, I'm sure it'll be solved in no time. The situation is now in your capable hands. I look forward to hearing your report when you get back. All right, we'll take care of it. Traveler, let's go discuss where to head from here.
Oder halte dich in der Nähe mit Heise oder Nähe. Ach, da unten. Perceptive. Seems even Paimon has her moments. Let me ask you. Do you believe in intuition? Huh? Intuition? Where are you going with this? My intuition tells me that General Goro is lying. What? How could you say that? Uh, although he did seem a little on the serious side today, but... Goro's a good guy! Good people can be deceptive, too. After all... Everyone has their secrets. Wie kommst du darauf? Well, in my opinion, the timing of his appearance was a little too coincidental. Sanganamiya's soldiers have been keeping an eye on me for the entire time I've been on Watatsumi Island. Yet I had never seen General Goro even once. But today he came out and met with us, and even commissioned us to investigate a case. Maybe that's because the Traveler is here today, and Goro thinks he's more capable. Really? Huh. Then that makes things even more peculiar. If there are powerful players behind this case, and he needs to draw upon external support, then he should have taken action sooner rather than wait until today. A more plausible explanation is that the items we discovered are linked with some unspeakable secret, and he had to intervene to prevent us from digging any deeper. Then he put up a smokescreen to mislead us, I surmise that investigating the Merchant Godot on retail will yield no results. Whoa! Are you serious? Uh, uh, but this is all just a hunch you have, right? Actually, there is another key factor behind my reasoning, though you may not believe me. I sense something... special about Goro. Something special? Yes. Whatever is missing on this island... I sense it in him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there! Are you saying Goro's a thief? As in he took something valuable? It's not that simple. I can't fully explain it. It's just my... Uh, intuition. Sure, I trust your judgment. But perhaps you're overlooking someone else, the true leader here. <laughs> Nein, du bist nur zu, äh, zu sensibel. Vielleicht sind die Dinge gar nicht so kompliziert und wir sollten nach Reto gehen, um Untersuchungen über Gordot anzustellen. Oh. Hey, nun, du hast mich über irgendwie davon überzeugt, dass es hier vielleicht wirklich ein Geheimnis gibt. Was willst du tun? It's simple. We should just investigate whatever it is they're trying to hide from us. And what were we planning to do just before Goro showed up? Um, oh, we were going to talk to the leader of the caravans. Uh, yeah, someone named Todoroki. Bingo, there's no time to lose. Let's go talk to this Todoroki. Na dann zerren wir mal wieder an der Zeit. Ich 
sollte die ja passen. Todoroki, the shipment has arrived and is ready for inspection. Good, let's go. Hey, it's Todoroki! <laughs> Shh, keep quiet. Let's follow him and see where he leads us. Mano. Your intel was spot on. When we arrived, the Nobushi were all still asleep. <laughs> we captured them all, and the goods were retrieved and brought back here. I'll take a look. Hmm. Everything seems in order. Good work. It's nothing. Thanks to the efforts of your caravan, the price of grain in the village has decreased. That's right. And who would have thought that the injuries we sustained during the war would have such a lingering effect on our bodies? But thankfully, you also brought back some life-saving medicine. Things are improving, thanks to the help from those up top. Oh, by the way, what is the state of the village's inventory? Make sure that it's confirmed tonight. I have to leave tomorrow morning after I go to the Sanganomiya Shrine and get instructions from General Goro. Don't worry, we've already prepared the list. Just follow us. Huh? The soldiers from Sanganomiya seize the Nabushi stolen goods? But didn't Goro say all the stolen goods were headed to the International Trade Association? And Todoroki said he'll get instructions from Goro tomorrow. Interesting. It appears these seized goods were never stolen. There's something else behind all this. Now's our chance to look around and see if we can find any leads. Glaze lilies? What are these doing here? Shouldn't it be crystal marrow or something? This box is packed so tight! It looks like it could burst. Let's see what's inside. Huh? What are all these plants and flowers? Oh, there's a small note here. Eine zerrissene Rechnung in der Schrift, so durchnäht ist, dass sie nur schwer zu lesen ist. Abgesehen von den Worten auswärtige Händlergilde, die vage in der Unterschrift zu erkennen sind. So, did you find anything? Wow, look at all the Qingxian! And glaze lilies too! There are also tons of other plants and flowers Paimon doesn't know here! Weird! These are valuable raw ingredients for producing medicine. If these few crates were to be imported from Rito, the price would be jaw-dropping. On top of that, these items seem to lack a tax clearance certificate, meaning that they were most likely smuggled. Yes, very interesting. 
Now, where did the Nobushi get these goods? How about you? Did you find anything else? Es gibt eine Rechnung, die von der auswärtigen Händlergelde unterschrieben ist. Foreign Trade Association? I've never heard of such an organization in Rito. And if it's regarding foreign trade, then smuggling is an even more likely possibility. All right. In which case, I have a rough hypothesis. First, we... Huh? Who goes there? Oh no! We've been spotted! Huh? Wait, Captain? Is that you? Oh, so it's you, Captain. You had me worried there. We almost mistook you for bandits. <laughs> Captain, do you remember us? During the war, I was in the field hospital with Masashi. Tepe brought you to see us and helped find medicine for us. Hey, come on now. The Captain wouldn't forget. I gotta tell you, Captain, we all miss you. We haven't seen you ever since the end of the war. When we heard that you were coming here, we just assumed you were only going to see General Goro and Her Excellency. The guys are all really hoping to see you. Um, geht es euch gut? We're fine. You don't have to worry about us, Captain. No, you're not fine. Captain, you may not be aware, but Masashi previously fainted on the front lines. The doctor thought that it might be a neurological condition caused by overstimulated emotions. It's pretty serious. According to the doctor, if it hadn't been for the medication he's been taking, he would have developed dementia. And that was assuming the best case scenario. You're one to talk. Don't forget why I fainted in the first place. It's because I heard that you got yourself killed by an arrow. I couldn't handle all the emotion. Later, I found out that he'd been shot in the buttocks, and it was only a mild injury. I had an emotional breakdown for nothing. What do you mean, for nothing? I got shot not by one, but two arrows in a row. The first arrow was to the left cheek, and the second arrow was also to the left. And because the arrows were poisonous, the wound still hasn't completely healed yet. I have to apply ointment every day, and I'm constantly worried it might reopen while I sleep. Look on the bright side. At least we're still alive. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But enough about us. What brings you here, Captain? Wegen dieser Waren. Oh, these goods are all seized from the hands of Nobushi and treasure hoarders. Todoroki was the one who provided us with the intel. He mentioned there were bandits here and there, so we went and took care of them while also confiscating the goods. By the way, Captain, you still haven't met Todoroki, have you? He's the one we're working for now. Her Excellency recently announced plans to stimulate the economy and created the caravans, with Todoroki at the helm. Yeah, he's proven to be quite capable. Even though he was just a farmer before, he's now successfully running the caravans. And his two sons were also our brothers in arms. Both received a special medal of honor from General Goro, which is quite remarkable, don't you think? So, as injured veterans, we've been reassigned to Todoroki. He's the one who gives us orders and pays our salaries now. What do they call that again? It's called changing careers, dummy. Ah, right. Changing careers. Anyway, I think the whole caravan thing is wonderful. Our region wasn't very prosperous to begin with, and the land can't grow any crops. We have to pay a hefty price just to get basic food from outside. I can't even imagine trying to maintain and feed an army like we did during the war. I see. I think I understand the general situation now. May I ask where the apprehended criminals are? Oh, uh, and you are? Macht euch keine Sorgen, das ist mein Freund. Ah, I see. The captain's friend. It should be okay to tell you then. We apprehended all the culprits and escorted them to a temporary location not far from here. Unfortunately, Masashi and I have other duties tonight and won't be able to take you there. Why don't you wait for a moment and I'll find someone else to show you the way. Schon gut, macht euer Dienst zurück weiter. Wir werden uns selbst zurechtkommen. I'm pretty sure I've already got a grasp on what's going on. All I need now is to confirm it with the apprehended bandits. Let's go. Are you still a little confused? <laughs> Let me help connect the dots. 
This whole thing was actually quite similar to a case I once worked on previously. It was a case involving the trade of prohibited items, and they employed an old trick to execute the deal. The culprit would first go strolling down the street until they knocked over a pedestrian on purpose, using the opportunity to... <laughs> sir! Please forgive us, sir! Oh, we are nothing more than petty thieves! <laughs> sir, what do I look like? A commissioner? Does my friend here look like a commissioner to you? Um, uh, uh, officer! Officer! First, I'm gonna need to ask you a few questions. Uh, sure. G go ahead, H ask anything. The soldiers discovered many valuable goods in your camp. The goods don't appear to be from around here. So the question is, where did they come from? Oh, the goods? Uh, right, we picked them up at the beach. You picked them up? Uh, well, no, we, uh, actually stole them. Be honest now. Tell me the whole story. Yes, sir. I, I, I mean, uh, officer. <laughs> uh, we took those goods from a small merchant ship just off the beach, but we didn't exactly steal them. Uh, you see, the ship's guards all took off running the moment they saw us. They abandoned the goods, and we simply came and picked them up. Next thing we know, a group of soldiers arrives, and we're all apprehended. <laughs> Talk about bad luck. We didn't even have a chance to stash away the goods before we got caught. You say that the merchant ship's guards fled without putting up a fight. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? You just assumed they were scared witless and didn't have the guts to fight. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not bragging or anything, but <laughs> our boss is pretty intimidating. With his massive muscle and strength, he can scare anyone. <laughs> you really expect us to believe all this? No, 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 you gotta believe me. Just the other day, we scared off an entire squad of soldiers. When they noticed us, they went running and dropped their goods. <laughs> I, I, I swear! I still remember seeing tons of Songo pearls and crystal marrow in that load. All nice and shiny, too. Ooh. It was amazing. Unfortunately, a bunch of pirates came later and snatched those goods. It just happened that our boss had diarrhea that day and couldn't hold off the pirates. Ugh, <sighs> this luck of ours. Wait a tick. Pirates? Yep, no doubt about it. They came on a massive ship, and their captain was a pretty lady with an eye patch. <laughs> we had no idea how powerful she was. It was like, boom, boom, thud! Only took three hits before she knocked out the boss. <gasps> A pretty lady with an eye patch? Oh, does this description remind you of someone, Paimon? Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Doesn't remind Paimon of anyone. Okay. And how about you? Wenn ich so drüber nachdenke, tragen viele Piraten Augenklappen. <lacht> really? Okay, I'll take that as a no, then. It appears that the situation is just as I suspected. Todoroki is striking a shady deal with a group of pirates, while General Goro appears to be assisting with the cover-up. What? How could that be? Todoroki said that he'd be going to Sanganomiya early tomorrow morning to get Goro's instructions before the caravan leaves. Now is the time to address any doubts you may have. Tomorrow morning will be our moment to confront them. Hopefully, my final question will be answered then as well. Eine letzte Frage. The question of what important thing this island is missing. I can feel some connection to the question in Goro, Todoroki, and even Takuda and Masashi. Hopefully, we'll finally have an answer tomorrow. <sighs> Let's get some rest. I'll see you at Sanganamiya tomorrow morning. Nur weil Baidu hilft? Oh man. Ach ja. 
Vielleicht sind wir dann bald wieder. Mal schauen. Bösen, bösen Piraten. Im Grunde eigentlich nur helfen. There are leaves around. And I know just the tune to accompany. Todoroki. I'm Shikanoin Heizo, Special Detective of the Tenryo Commission. I believe you've been manipulating large-scale illegal trades for some time now. Mind if we talk about that for a bit? <laughs> you can't just go around spewing such nonsense, young man. And what if I'm not talking nonsense? Ridiculous. I don't have time to listen to this. Get out of here, you little brat. <laughs> I know I'm on the younger side compared to you, Todoroki, so I'm sure you must have heard the old saying. Off the scale, some goods only weigh a couple pounds, but on the scale, they weigh more than a thousand. So the question is, do you want to put your goods on the scale or not? What are you trying to say? <laughs> well, nothing. All I want to hear is you personally confirming what we already know to be the truth. Masashi! Tokura! Arrest these people! Huh? Todoroki? What's wrong? Who dares to cause trouble at Sangonomiya Shrine? Huh? Wait, it's... Captain? What are you doing? These crooks are trying to pry into the secrets of Watatsumi. We mustn't let them go. But, uh, no. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. Todoroki, this is the captain of Swordfish 2, one of our, our own. <laughs> it doesn't matter who they are. Remember what General Goro told you? The long-term goal of Watatsumi is to revive its trade and commerce. And since you have been assigned to work with me, it's my orders that count around here. I don't care if they were your captain. Would you dare disobey orders? I... Uh... <sighs> what do we do? Well, what are you waiting for? All right, I see how it is. If you two won't do it, I will. I really hoped it wouldn't come to this. But... Here we go. Damn. Wait! Everyone, stand down! General Goro, you're here. My apologies, Traveler, Detective Hazo. I wasn't telling you the truth. Todoroki, the Traveler here is the hero who saved Watatsumi Island. Without him, Watatsumi Island would never have found the peace it has today. We mustn't raise our weapons against him. How could you be so naive, General Goro? If we let them go free, then who's to say the Shogunate won't come after us tomorrow? If the Shogunate decides to investigate, we won't be able to hide the truth. I wouldn't allow them to take you, Todoroki. <sighs> Let's not kid ourselves. If going to jail could solve the problem, I would go and turn myself into the Tenryo Commission right now. The question is, what are we going to do with the goods? Will you be able to keep them? Not to mention the chance of astronomical fines. Can you afford that? Goro, we both know that Watatsumi Island is a barren land. Plant a hundred radishes here and maybe only three would grow. And those three combined would still be smaller than just one carrot imported from elsewhere. You can't grow food or medicinal herbs here. And if we buy them from Rito, we pay exorbitant taxes. My eldest son died fighting on the battlefield. But do you know how my second son died? He died because there was no medicine to treat him. You awarded both of them medals of honor. But did that save their lives? Can medals heal Tokuda and Masashi's wounds? No. 
It was the medicine that I got that saved their lives. If we detain them today, the Shogunate will never know what we've done. Besides, we're only a few months away now. We will set them free once the new bill is passed in just a few months, and everything will be okay. None of what happened here will be mentioned again, and life on Watatsumi Island will continue to improve. <sighs> I understand, Todoroki, but they won't... I, I can trust the Traveler won't, but the detective here is a Tenryo commission officer. Uh, forget it. You're the general. I'm just a radish farmer. Warte, was hast du mit den neuen Gesetz gemeint? Ah. It's a new commodity tax bill currently being drafted by the Kanjo Commission. The bill exempts taxes on goods that are in short supply on Watatsumi Island. Once the bill's introduced, we'll be able to buy commodities that we need from regular marketplaces. Oh, tch, I see. Man alive. I wish I had known sooner. <laughs> in that case, how about we put your fears at ease and I'll stick around here a little longer. You know, until the bill is introduced. Huh? Oh, uh, D Detective Hazel, are you saying that... You mean you're willing to stay here, young man? Come on, you two. What's with the strange looks? You've been keeping me under close surveillance, haven't you? Surely you must have noticed that aside from being a detective, I'm also an ordinary tourist who likes to enjoy good scenery. I believe that after the new commodity bill is passed, there will be more and more traffic between the two sides, and more and more people will be coming to visit Watatsumi Island. I have to take the opportunity now and enjoy this place while I still have it all to myself. Before long, tourists will start pouring in. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Detective Hazo. On behalf of the people of Watatsumi. My pleasure. But one good turn deserves another, does it not? Oh, you mean there's something you wish to request? I suppose you could say I'm from the Shogunate, but the traveler next to me isn't. As far as I know, he's planning to visit other nations soon, and it is unclear if he will return to Narukami Island or not. Therefore, there's no need to limit his freedom, right? I'm sure no one else will hear of what happened today. Am I right, Traveler? Gib ein lautes Versprechen. Well, it's settled then. He will always be an important partner to Watatsumi, and I would never dream of limiting his freedom. So please, don't worry, Detective Hazo. I'll hold you to that. But if I ever find out you've lied to me again, there's a chance I'll lose my cool. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth earlier. It's a serious matter, and I didn't want outside parties to become involved. But today, I realized my poor judgment. How could I possibly hide anything from Detective Hazo and the Traveler? <laughs> I'm glad you understand now. But, in all honesty, I'm the one who should be thanking you. It's because of you that I was finally able to reach an answer. After all, nothing makes a detective happier than putting a case to rest. Ah, I understand now. You really are an interesting person, Detective Hazo. <laughs> no, I'm afraid you don't quite get what I mean. Uh, I I'm sorry? Wait, wait! Paimon gets this one! It's the answer to your question, right? The one about the thing you sensed coming from Goro and the others. Now you figured it out! What? Uh, the thing you sensed coming from me? But I always have excellent personal hygiene. <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> hey, uh, Traveler, could I talk to you for a moment? Besides, I haven't had a chance to thank you yet. Time to go. Hey, there you are. Uh, come here. Look, look. It's beautiful, isn't it? 
Watatsumi Island. It's remarkable how such a barren land can give life to such wonderful and stunning scenery. To be honest, I am grateful to you for this trip. Before you arrived, I was running around like a headless chicken. <laughs> Even if I happened to find out what was going on here, I wouldn't have been able to uncover any concrete information without you present. I'm just sorry that I promised I'd accompany you back. It appears that I won't be able to do so for the time being. So please, uh, cover for me in the meantime, okay? <laughs> Hast du dich wirklich entschieden, das zu verbergen? Eh, it's all in the past now. Let's just chalk it up as an intriguing experience I had on my trip here. Besides, that's not what I wanted to investigate anyway. Hast du schon die Antwort? Yes. Everyone you led me to and everything they said brought me closer to the answer. And now I finally get it. Watatsumi Island is an ancient land where the soil is poor and many crops do not grow because it's lacking a certain thing. But what the inhabitants of this land do have is bravery. They were courageous enough to stand up and resist the gods and accomplish what they knew could not be done. This is yet another instance in which that certain thing shines. That missing element. That certain thing is what I sensed present in Goro, Todoroki, Tokuda, and Masashi. Which is the true vitality of this land. I guess I was mistaken when I declared that something was missing. That something from this island had evaporated into thin air. Because even something that evaporates is not gone. It's still there, just in a different state of being. When water is heated by fire, it evaporates and eventually finds its place in the sky. Similarly, when the land was harmed, its vitality evaporated and eventually found its place among the inhabitants. This is the final answer I've been searching for. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> thanks again. You know, even though we just met, I wish you could be my partner all the time. <laughs> Call me greedy, I guess. But, of course, I know that's impossible. You have your own journey to complete. So I'll just keep doing what I can, hopefully keeping my memories from evaporating safe and sound in my mind. That way, I'll always be able to remember these beautiful things. The beauty of Watatsumi Island, the people who are full of life and vitality. And you two, who were by my side. Nicht verdampfte Erinnerung. Jede Reise endet irgendwann. Nicht so die Erinnerung. Die Erinnerung an eine lange Reise. Hast du das in Ernst geglaubt? Schließ die Ermittlung im Auge des Sturms ab und schalte alle Ausgänge frei. Damit haben wir die Geschichten von Heise abgeschlossen. Mal sehen, was als nächstes auf uns wartet. <lacht>